Alexa presentation language, or getting started anyway with the Alexa presentation language. The uh, Alexa presentation language, or APL, is really new. So today is November 2nd, 2018, and it was announced or released to public beta in October 30th, so just a few days ago. And I'm uh, just getting going with it myself, so um, I this is just going to be an introduction video, and then as I get more familiar with it, I'll put out some more stuff. So I'm going to start with a template from skilledtemplates.com. I don't have a, uh, a template up yet for the uh, APL, but I'm going to start with the, um, the basic starter and then uh, enable it so that it can use the uh, APL stuff. So I will, with that, jump in and, uh, and get going. So um, ask the, uh, if you haven't used skill templates, it uses the, uh, the ask CLI. So ask new and I'm going to use the uh, basic starter temp template. Uh, this one right here. And there are um, there are four things that you need to do to uh, to enable the um, the APL and start working with it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to um, change. You need to you can do this through the web console or you can do it through the uh, the skill manifest. I'll show you both ways. So, uh, but you need to enable support for. Uh, the presentation language. So um, if you go to developer.amazon.com, let me deploy this skill real quick so we can see. Uh, ask deploy. And while that's deploying, I'll just, I'll make a change to the, uh, the skill manifest to enable the, um, the interface that we need and we need the Alexa presentation APL interface and that is going to go in the uh, custom section of the API so like right here manifest and then um, APIs and then custom endpoint and then like right after this we want to add this in so this interface is so this is going to enable the uh, presentation uh, language interface and you can do that in the web console also i'll show you where that is so if you log in to developer.amazon.com and then go to your skills this one should be out there now yep okay this basic starter this is the one i'm using and um, under interfaces down here you'll notice now there's this one this beta Alexa presentation language interface and it's not enabled here um, but you could enable it through the, through here but I'm going to do this through the CLI uh, again so that's step one is to enable the um, interface the, uh, the the second thing that you want to do is you want to add an APL template and so um, the application programming language uses um, JSON templates and they're kind of uh, documents to format the presentation that is going to ultimately be displayed on the, the screen. And so there's a start, there's like a, a main template that is kind of the parent template for all the other templates that you'll have. And um, what this allows you to do is create kind of like um, themes. So if you're thinking like web development, you might be familiar with uh, themes like for WordPress or something like that. It's, it's kind of similar, but you create sort of a, a visual theme, but there's um, a base template that you want to add. And that is um, a file called main.json like that. And then um, in there, I'm going to just copy and paste some uh, JSON code to create like the minimal minimal template and uh, this is it this um, this imports here actually uh, um, this I 
don't think we need for like the most basic template. I think this pulls in uh, layouts for um, the Alexa uh, devices or the Echo devices. But from the documentation, from what I've read, this is not required, although um, I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Um, so that's the second thing that we need to do is create our, our main JSON. And then the what we need to do from there is um, just require that file uh, so that we can access it. And I'm gonna do that up here, so like this. Um, and then um, then we can use it. So f there's a, a directive that we can add that um, we'll do through the response builder. And the directive this um, add directive is the alexa.presentation.apl.render document. And I'm just referencing that main document that I pulled in up here. And then with this, I should have everything that I need. And I'm just putting this in the launch request handler here. So um, if all is working, I should be able to see my um, my main template and it's nothing fancy it's just gonna be it's gonna have some text and it's gonna say hello world and so let me deploy this and see if that all worked uh, yeah I've got to deploy everything here um, so this is gonna take a sec second so I'll, I'll pause and then I'll come right back okay so now it is all deployed we can go test it out so I'll go over here and um, uh, let's see. So now if I go to my interfaces, that should be enabled now. It is because we added it to the um, manifest. And so now we can go over here to test and the invocation name for the basic starter is, what is the invocation name for the basic starter? I think it is greeter. That's the default for the CLI new uh, basic starter, okay. So then over here we would test by just going open basic starter. That. Hello there, what is your name? Okay, and down here, again, <laughs> super simple, but this is, uh, this is showing our presentation language generated or presentation language template that generated this uh, this hello world and that is as far as I'm gonna go in this video um, there's some documentation that uh, I'll, I'll leave in the notes on you know the uh, the, the syntax and stuff stuff for the uh, uh, for the templates themselves and I will do uh, I'll do a follow-up video once I get deeper into this on, uh, on using the presentation language. But I thought this would be a good place to start, just a simple let's uh, how to get it up and going. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. If you found this valuable, please like the video and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.